Brothers bit on the side. We're like the main show's version of the safe house. We are packed full of exclusivity. Woo! You come regular, I like your ooze. Um, although you wouldn't know uh, that by looking at this rabble. You are rabble. Aww. But you're very attractive rabble. Woo! And I like you a lot. Uh, OK, we've got a great show for you tonight. You can find out about this. How other can you look like a mug other than people thinking that you've got a girlfriend and then... Whatever. No, he just meant it in a way, if I'm pursuing you, but it's not the same coming back, that's what you said. Are you serious? Oh, we're going to be telling you what's going on here. <laughs> You're so hot that you fry an egg on your face. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be revealing all about this. The twins. Could oh. you please stand up? If you say I can't eat, I'm sorry, but you can fuck right off. <laughs> you can fuck off. <laughs> Uh, but before all of that, let's meet tonight's guest. First up is a former celeb housemate who'd fit well in with all the snakes in the house after she's been on I'm a Celebrity. It's the very lovely Nicola McLean. <laughs> Next up, to give his, his thoughts is a man who's been there, done that, and got the T-shirt that says, I came third in Big Brother 10. It's David Ramsey. <laughs> Shows a semi-finalist from Britain's Got Talent who made a great impression last time she was here. It's the delightful Francine Lewis. <laughs> um, okay, should we get started? Yay! Let's get started. Okay, yes, Yay! like panto and I love it. Uh, okay, so we've seen Charlie join Gina and Dexter in their luxury life of luxury. Um, but what do you all think about the Safe House 3? So first, Nicola, were they right to choose Charlie, do you think? I think so, because I think she's been quite quiet. So I think that once she goes in the smaller group, I know they can still mix with the house, but I think we might see a bit more of her. And I think it'd be good to get her separated from her mum, because I wouldn't want to be in there with my mum. Would you not? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. My mum's my mum's brilliant, but I'm a little bit wild, aren't I? My mum's really not. <laughs> not are you, Nicola? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Um, Francine, how do you think Charlie's going to fit in in the safe house with the other two? Um, I think she could struggle a little bit. See, oh, why? I, well, because I think Gina is such a big character. Um, and I think, although Gina's been quite nice and she's brought her in, I think that could all change. Because, I mean, I love Gina, but she has got another side to her and she will aggravate her very soon. Do you think... Uh, yes. Somebody said to me, actually, earlier on, and I don't... This isn't my, my take, I'm just wondering. Do you think Gina feels like that's her little spot definitely and you can come in and have a little look and you can play for a little while but it's mine yeah and that's why she chose charlie because she knows she's that sort of person who we call a blender who doesn't take you know over yeah you know she's not horrible but she's she's not really out that outgoing either i mean we right. wouldn't really notice if she was there or not so she I think, just kind of gets on with it yeah and i think she chose somebody who's like that for a reason i think she's very clever very clever uh, david how do you think the rest of the house are going to get on with charlie's new state in the safe house. I just think, for, if I was in there, I'd probably, probably stick to them like glue. I'd be stuck to them like a stamp. Why? Because they've got so much power in the house, all they think they have. But when they go back into the house, people are going to wonder what they know, because they're making out they know all this explosive stuff, but really, they don't do that, come on. They don't. They well, don't it's not any... explosive, but as they've said, they've just kind of seen people from a different perspective, which when you're in there, you only see certain things, because you're not with everybody all the time, but when you're watching it on those monitors, yeah. you, you're cu cutting to everything you are, all but the when, time that's going on. Obviously, when you're in there, you know, you think you like someone, and then the next day, you can't stand them. <laughs> But that, I suppose you know that's, I mean? that's so living like in saying, such close proximity, I'm sure, that, you know, you, th you think one thing and then you find I out I think they made the and... right choice, but I'm not sure about putting the mum up because at the end of the day, if I was in there with one of my siblings or my, my, my dad or what have you, and then they swapped and they're just, like, giving a cuddle saying thank you, thank you, but really, back in the mind, she's thinking, you bitch. I think that anyway. <laughs> I think that because... It's a moment end at day, and then they're together, no matter what friends or whatever they're, then they're together, aren't they? Yeah, so? they are, but she did seem quite relieved that she, she was not facing eviction on Friday. So, um, can the Travis girls be more themselves now that they're slightly separated, do we think? Yeah, definitely. Oh. Yeah, I think that when Charlie went into the safe house, um, she's glad that she's sort of gotten away from her mum for a bit, yeah. so then she can come out and be the person that she wants to be. And how do you think Jackie's going to be now that she's kind of still in I the think, main house and not with Charlie's mum? I think mom? Jackie um, will get on with everybody else, but at the same time, I don't think that she's going to miss her, really. 
You don't think Jackie no, miss Charlie? No. Oh, I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> See, I don't okay, think so, Charlie um, will miss Jackie. I think Charlie yeah, wants her mum. Yeah, yeah, I think Charlie because wants her mum to go. Because I think as much as she says, or like, the, was it last night or tonight? Uh, she was doing my head in when she was crying with Dan. You know, it must be nice to have that security there a little bit. But I think she's starting to aggravate a little bit yeah. now. I definitely think she wants her mum gone. I think so as well. I think to have your woman there, so I've got first two a week, but come on. Yeah. All the way through. It's going to spoil the experience. OK, let's yeah. talk about Callum. He piped up for once, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> or did he? You cannot say, without being just 100% arrogant, I will win. Well, it we'll is see. purely arrogance. We'll see, though. I find it very strange that you would have come to that conclusion all alone. Yeah, I think you're giving me a massive disservice, a massive discredit here. You're com completely discrediting my intelligence. I can make my own mind. Not that at all. This morning, she went, ah, oh, here we go. You're saying exactly what Charlie's been saying. I said to her, am I fuck being led around? I'm savvy enough and clever enough to make my own mind up here now. Okay, so a slightly different take on what he was telling Sam. Uh, what do you make of that, Francine? I think he's up for eviction Friday. He wants to get his opinions across. He wants to show people that he's not the quiet Callum anymore. I think he wants to now make a bit of an impression. We're going to see a big change in Callum this week. Well, I think that kind of proves it, because he yes. had the conversation. You could see that he was slightly riled by what Wolfie was saying, but it was a slightly more aggressive tone when he was relaying the Definitely. story Definitely. He wants to, to stay in, so I think he's going to really shake things up. Is really he going to shake things up, do you think? I think so. No. No, not at all. He's going to try. Your gonna... face said it all then, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, no, not do you really. know what? He, he's no. going to try. He's going to... But it's just not him. It's not him. He tries to argue and then you just kind of don't care when he argues. Like, I don't think anyone would care what he says in the house. Do you care, Nicola? Who do, who do you think Callum is? Is he this lad that he made out in his VT? Or is he the quiet guy? Or is he this guy that we're now seeing? This, oh, fuck it, I don't care. No, he blagged his way in. You know, and I'm a bit of a blagger, but at least I then produce. Like, you know, that's absolutely ridiculous. Like, to, stay, to, you know, to say to Wolfie what he did, if he had something to say, that's why I can never get these shows and I can never get who people like. If you've got something to say, bloody say it. But they don't. And then going to Sam and making out he did say it. Well, you didn't, Callum. You didn't say it. Well, he did it. say it, but, but not, not quite like the same that. way. No, I slightly mean, differently. Totally different. I mean, you could have read the conversation with Wolfie totally different to what he said to Sam. So I think he's a total blagger and I don't think we're going to get anything different out and I think it's really boring. OK, very quickly, we've got to talk about Daly and Hazel. Uh, now, Daly seems to be looking for clarification as to whether he has a girlfriend or not. Of course, outside of the house, uh, we know that he's got a hell of a lot of explaining to do. So, Nicola, are you buying his regrets that we've seen this evening? Absolutely not. I watched the show last night. I mean, you was amazing with his girlfriend. I felt so sorry for her. It's disgusting. Disgusting what we've done. And, um, I'm not buying it at all, and he needs clarification. You know whether you've got a girlfriend or not. He's overstepped the mark, and I really hope that that lovely, beautiful girl that I seen last night kicks him to the curb for good because he doesn't deserve her. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, OK. Very quickly, do you think Hazel is genuinely attracted no, to him? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. She's doing it just for the cameras. Can I just say about Daily, a full dick has no brains, Emma. And I think, no, he doesn't. I think all the blood, the blood. It's fine. You'll get over it. <laughs> Down. You sit down. I mean, you know, I obviously the, the blood has dramatically rushed away from his brain and he's lost all senses. That poor girl last night, every girl in the country that watched her last yeah. night, and yeah. let me say you were very kind to her. Thank you. Um, well, she's very sorry for her. Other than Hazel that, is just um, what okay. Hazel is. Hazel knows what she is and she's doing it for the cameras. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what this lot think, and my goodness, don't they think it? Uh, if you fancy having your say, then you could be in the studio audience by getting in touch with us. All the details are on the screen now. Right, coming up, Julie James is going to be here giving us her take on the latest goings on. I can't wait for that. Um, and selected housemates are going to try their best to entertain us with reality bites back. But first, the latest batch of Big Brother victims face eviction on Friday. Who goes? You decide. This week, Callum, Hazel, Jackie and Wolfie all face the public vote. Who goes? You decide. From a landline call 090 2050 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. From a mobile call 650 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. For Callum, add 01. For Hazel, add 07. For Jackie, add 09. For Wolfie, add 14.
Mobile and BT landline votes cross 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. Votes cast after the lines close won't count. For full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash bbvote. on the side just like Wolfie we know how much you love us <laughs> here's an exclusive what is over here? Uh, just... no it weren't nothing much I was just saying if I'm gonna pursue you then pursue you if not then don't basically in a nutshell okay but then he said he's looking out for me because he don't want me to look like a mug or something how other can you look like a mug other than People thinking that you've got a girlfriend and then do whatever. No, he just meant it in a way, if I'm pursuing you, but it's not the same coming back, that's what you said. Are you serious? Yeah, like... I fucking knew it. Basically, basically, what he's trying to hint to you is that, like, I'm having a bit of fun with it. No, he never said that. No, but is that what he's implying? I mean, I know he didn't say it, I don't know but what we, he's we can implying. all imply things. I don't know what he's implying. But that's what annoys me about Dexter. If he something just said safe, it, you say I, it. He, goes, uh, he just goes, I'm your friend and I don't want you to get hurt. They were right spanner in the works, didn't they? Mm. I don't know. I could be gone Friday anyway. I have a good feeling I will be. No comment. Uh, right though now. Right though now? Right now though. <laughs> Here to offer her thoughts on the latest goings on in the house is the sensational body language expert, Judy James. <laughs> in a week. Have you noticed they only talk about sex with dummies in their mouths? They've all got things in their mouths when they're talking about their relationship. See, I love Maybe the stonies. things that Judy picks up on. I said it's every time she comes in, but I would, I would just have thought, he's just got something in his mouth. But no, no. you're like, no, there's an object in there. It's <laughs> sexual. Um, right, okay, let's start with the safe house twist. Um, what did you make of the way Dexter delivered the news? I loved it. His body language was a hybrid of uh, Machiavellian planning, cunning uh, warlord, and then suddenly this kind of sad, needy little child. And I think that very much defines his personality. One minute, he, he actually took it as though he was delivering uh, a talent show judgment, wasn't he? You know, and the, next, the one we're going to knock at, he just really, really, that was his power moment, wasn't he it? Did he did have that, that very dramatic pause, didn't pause, he, before yeah. he went... Jackie. Yes, that's and right. And then sat down with his uh, arms uh, That's crossed. right. Then he goes into this cut-off. You'll get no more from me yet, but I have got more information. But he, at the is. start, he was kind of rocking. You can see him here. He's rocking like a little baby that's just seen food. You know, he was dying to get at it. But since then, he's diminished a bit. So he, one minute he's up, and the next minute he's quite needy. He wants to integrate into that group. That's the point. So he wants to have the power, but he still wants to be their friend. It's very much like somebody that's probably had a problem integrating socially through his life. On the one hand, he kind of wants to get revenge and be all powerful but on the other hand he just really wants to wants be, to be wanted yeah, yeah. and how about Gina how do you think she coped with it Gina was amazing because um, she started off by doing double pointing like you know I've got your number your number and your number but then she self-diminished and she suddenly went into this slightly soppy oh I can't do it I can't do it thing yeah what why why is that do you think because normally she's bold as brass and will tell you exactly what she thinks but all of a sudden she couldn't deliver the news about Jackie I, I know and I don't know whether that was an act maybe she was thinking well actually I also want to be into integrated when I go. I mean, Gina's pretty much the same, isn't she? She's got this very aggressive personality, but also she can be very sweet. So I think we saw a fight between the two going on there. And what about the other housemates? When they were <laughs> delivering the news, when they kind of saw them first in the garden, what did you pick up from them? Who stood out for you? I loved it. I mean, Hazel looked, but then she just cleared off, didn't she? She saw them in the garden. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to do something first. Um, she started giving them the death stare after a while. I think she realised that something was going to go on. Um, I loved Callum because he suddenly saw a moment to get a personality so he kind of ran out doing attacking points at them but then when he started to find out that uh, he was not going to be saved from nomination he did that usual mouth shrug whatever in fact his mouth disappeared I don't know if you noticed he actually sucked his mouth in so far and his eyeballs that there was no face there whatsoever apart from <laughs> nostrils so he's clearly disappearing into himself <laughs> Uh, OK, let's move on to uh, Dan and Hazel. What's going on with them? We, you know, they've had a... The, 
I mean, always a good relationship, but very, they're together all the time, they're never together. Yeah, you know. she dumped him like a hot brick, though, and he was really needy when she came back the first time as well. He was so relieved that he got the affection, and that's very much alpha female. You take the affection, you remove it, you use it as a control thing. I love that last scene, though, when he sat obviously a long way away so he could see her face they were like two babies in a pram weren't they with the little blankets on mm. and i love the way he was doing detective dan watching her face but she's got a really annoying habit and that is when she's being spoken to and she's getting advice she cuts off the end of the sentence and puts the word she want at the end of the sentence so if you started to criticize her and you said hey Zoo, you're all right she'd go beautifully attractive irish girl so she doesn't hear the truth and that's why when we got to the end he had and he had to stuff his hand in his mouth to do it you know i really think you ought to go on friday I mean, that, she heard that. She heard that one. And that was where she really... She did hear that one. And yeah. to be honest, when I, was, when I was watching the show, I had no clue that that was going to come out of Dan's mouth. I did not predict he would say something like that. That's because she couldn't hear what Dan was saying. That was the trouble. He was leading up to it, but she wouldn't let him. She kept twisting it into something really nice. Dan's very much suster in that relationship. There was a huge hug that they did, a group hug a little while back. Right. And um, she came up, she tried to go. kiss him. Look, she's trying to get rekindle that old affection. And then horror of horrors, Daly actually came up and joined in. He suddenly turned into hierarchical male by putting his arms on top. Um, she did this kind of guppy you must kiss me thing and he did not join in he kept his arms down he kept his head back so he could see her facial expression very much detected and he doesn't down. even look at daily does he he's just always got no. his eyes on her well that was cheeky because he's very much house father he didn't want suddenly this guy coming in like alpha male and in the end he said i'm finding this really awkward and he walked away and she again a little bit of the old death stare there Okay, I've got to ask you about the duo that everybody's talking about at the moment, and that, of course, is uh, Daly and Hazel. Um, he seems to be having second thoughts, which is what we've seen this evening. Does he genuinely feel bad? This is sort of his epiphany, but it's not. I mean, I love the way that he listened to Dexter, who he wants to see outside. I think he thought Dexter was going to say he loved him. Did you notice? When Dexter said, I've got something to tell you, I think he thought another one had fallen for him. But Dexter delivered the message in such a riddle. It was like the Da Vinci Code. He was doing these weird birdie arm things, and he was going, you know, uh, you're sitting on the fence and you're eating cake. And I don't think, in the end, Daly got what the point of Do the Do you think Dexter was. genuinely likes him, though? I, I kind of believe that he does. I think Dexter would actually, with the wind, behind him like anybody that spent more than two minutes with him. <laughs> he wants a friend. Yeah, he wants a friend. But I, I, listen, I, I don't know how, how long it's going to be. Daly's got selective memory loss. He'll walk across the room. He'll think he's got a girlfriend on that side and then he thinks that he hasn't on that side and then he loves her on the other side. So he's all over the place at the moment. And it, it also struck me as quite weird because Callum tried to say this to him a day or two ago and he didn't want to listen. He had a rant about him. He says, do my head in. And then all of a sudden Dexter says it and then Sam says it and then Callum says it again, what he's already said before and all of a sudden he's kind of listening yeah so do you do you buy the attraction between the two of them do you think no, it's a genuine attraction uh, it's such an odd relationship it came from nowhere um she was already using exactly that body language with dan she just transferred it to daily and obviously without the hat and everything like that um but also i don't know i just get the feeling with her flirt signals i think she'd do it to anything really i think she'd do it to a chair leg if she was locked in an empty room i think she does it more as a performance so that we outside can all admire her and think yes you know she'd be really good in a film or a play or something like that she looks as though she's on a big cast so do you think it. she's doing it to sell herself we have heard her say you know this is her business well, and she has to make sure this is working and he's looking its best at all times and so. she's doing good i have to say that generally girls that are that beautiful don't learn to flirt that much because usually they're hitting the guys away with a stick so she's very much got performed flirt signals and as i say we've already seen them on dan um it just seems like a performance to me are we going to see what we've seen in the last few days continue do you think or is it just all going to be knocked on the head now i don't know i mean again it's going to be odd uh, daily i don't know whether he's got it or not i don't know if she will give up i think they might have noticed that if they just cut off right now it's going to make them look even more phony and that will look very much as though oh we've been told it's making us unpopular outside so we better stop and i think if anything was going to make things worse it would be that level of phoniness so whether they can fade it out whether she'll turn on a chair leg in an empty room i don't know but she needs to turn her attention somewhere else well let's hope they both knock it on the head for the sake of katie who was here last night i totally agree absolutely uh, judy judy james everybody thank you <laughs> uh, okay coming up we're going to be asking who 
could be the winner of this series of Big Brother. Plus, I will be in the phone room taking your calls. Now, we've been asking housemates to entertain us, and last week, Jackie set a pretty high standard by treating us to some classic Travers moves. The pressure was on, but we asked Sam, Hazel and Sophie to give us their best shot, and this is what they came up with. Reality Bank's back, 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 yeah. With seven shows a week to make, the producers of Big Brother's Bit on the Side have run out of ideas and have a three-minute slot to fill. Again. They need you to use your imaginations and work together to entertain their viewers however you see fit. So what should we do? Your three minutes start now. Steve Kendall went out on a bender. He got off with a girl called Brenda. Brenda was a great girl, and we had a great world. Now on to Sophie, who will continue the song. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sophie, and I love to eat. I love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all do the chicken leg, ready? Ooh, ooh. Um. <laughs> I don't think just it's me in the couch. Um, right, let's, let's do like, I'm, I'm going to be flirting with you, right? All right, then, girls. Uh, so, which one of you fancy me the most? Right? Don't fight over me. So oh. Oh. Carefully, yeah, not me. <laughs> I think my winky had just expanded. Oh, stop! <laughs> all right, so let's all do an impression, right? So, my name is M. Childs, and you got a 100%. Come to Essex! <laughs> no, it was impressions of someone in the house. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, you do. Done. Me, 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 no, that's not even Wolfie, is it? <laughs> I've left such a mug. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all do. We're really bad. Oh, good. I need to throw a tea bag at you because you're both acting like mugs. <laughs> all right, sweetheart. <laughs> all right, coffee. flower. Yeah, not too far. Like, uh, you're so hot, like you fry an egg on your face. Maybe a few rashes of bacon if you slap on a bit lippy. <laughs> <laughs> not working, darling. Not, not, working. Working. not working. Okay, housemates, your three minutes are up. That was so shit. Do we get another go? That's it. Oh, really? That was I'm... so shit. We need to plan this, really, because this happened to me before. Yeah. Damn, that was really shit. Mm. Mind you, me, you and Daly's was shit as well, weren't it? No, that was good, that was. That was. Yes, it was. What was that? What'd you do? Swear down. We had exactly the same Swear thing. Swear down? It's just you, you bad negativity, sweetheart. <gasps> nah. Thank you, housemates. I'm sure Big Brother's bit on the side audience will thank you too. What's that sarcasm? Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Side. As you may know, we're exactly 41% of the way through the series, but we don't want to make a big song and dance about it. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> to talk about tonight but first let's take a look at the contenders for this year's big brother crown do you think you can win i don't really intend to win but i'm on to no illusions that i'm the winner <laughs> everyone knows i'm gonna make it to the final at the end of the day you two are gonna bloody win this thing no we're not the twins just can't go wrong for me no me, me too literally the last thing on my mind is winning it yeah i'm here to win it do you know what i mean i am gonna be Big Brother winner, 2013. Absolutely, like, Gina or Dexter could win this. Like, anybody in this house, I think the majority of people in this house have got I a chance Daly's of winning it. I reckon Daly's got a very good chance as well. Sophie. I know who I think Sophie. Sophie's yeah. going to win it. Never. I could see you as a potential winner. Of the show? Yeah. Yeah, I could. Genuinely. I don't think I'm going nowhere. Way 
through and there appears to be some standout housemates, but is there a clear winner yet? Uh, Nicola Wolfie is convinced she's going to be in the final. She said she thinks she's going to win it. What do you think? 100% not. No oh, way. Yeah. I think that everyone thought she would. Like, on the opening night, I thought, oh, she'll, she could win it because she, you know, she's not threatening to anyone in the whole entire universe, really, is she? And people like people that aren't very threatening and blah, 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 blah. And we thought she was a real character and she came in, everyone seemed a bit up themselves. She came with no shoes on. And I thought, oh, she could win this, but definitely not now. She's dreadful. Yeah. Awful. Uh, Francine, what about Sophie? Some people say she's the dark horse. I think she's kind of the obvious person because everyone in the house thinks she's going to win. No one's probably going to nominate her really to a mass extent because everybody quite likes her. Uh, the public seem to like her gen generally. So, so is she an obvious choice, do you think? If I was in the house, she'd be my best friend. Because everyone loves the Nessie's girl. You know, she talks like that and she's very like, you know, <laughs> you know she, I'm, not, I'm not here to upset anyone. I'm just here to be nice, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, no, I think so. And I definitely think she saw me on BGT because she had my Amy Charles catchphrase. I'm saying definitely. Come to Essex. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sophie. I definitely think she could win this year. Uh, David, what about the twins? Can they do it? Um, I think they could. They could. I think they could. I think they're brilliant. They are starting to get a bit bored in there. Are they? I oh, think they are, yeah, because... Why? No. I just don't see what they're in there for. The they're argument. Not, they're not, yes, they're, they're so not funny. funny. They're not the kind of housemates. I expected when I first saw them go in, I thought, wow, these two are going to throw the show out. But no, sorry. I oh, don't no. think they can. I, just I disagree. I think, them with that calmery I think it'll be Gina. I, do, I think it'll be Gina what wins. You think, that, you think yeah, Gina's going to win? Yeah, because oh. every, like, every year this big brother comes, it's always the person what sits on the fence what wins, and we need to shape it up a bit for someone who's had a game plan yeah. and made it work and win. That's what I want to see this year, something different. OK, what do you guys think? Do you think Gina can do it. What do you think about the twins? I think the twins are the next Chuckle Brothers. They're going to win it. They're, from day one, they fell down the stairs. They've got a TV deal lined up in there. Are you a fan of their arguments? Because I've never seen such fast banter. Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's, brilliant. it's, it's ideal for a TV show. It's just the twins. They can credit me if they want that as well. You can maybe be their producer. Yeah, I'll take that. So okay. I, think they're the, I think they're the fat version of Jedward. <laughs> I, do. I do. Definitely. They're arguing. It's hilarious. Have you ever met Jedward? I have. I love them. <laughs> I was going to say, slightly different. <laughs> Only the hair. Wise. <laughs> um, what about Sam Francine? He was the bookie's favourite. Uh, not oh, anymore. He's got to go. Can he win it? No, don't, he's got, he has to go. Yeah. I know this sounds awful because he's so harmless, but he is so boring. Yeah. Yeah. So boring. <laughs> is, he, is he boring or is he just a little bit lost? in there. Well, whether he's lost or not, it makes no difference. I mean, it, you know... Uh, Someone find him, please! Most of, most of the housemates, they're quite bonkers, aren't they? In a brilliant way. And, I, you know, I think this is one of the best houses we've had in yeah. quite a long definitely, time. Definitely. But poor Sam just seems like one of the most normal ones out of all of them. He's probably just like, oh, my goodness gracious me, I can't quite keep up with it all. But when there's so many people, it is hard to find your voice in there, isn't yeah. it? So maybe when, when, it's sort of, when the house gets smaller, if he's still there, he might come through as a strong character. But at the minute, talking about how many people are in there, you're completely right. He is complete, yeah. He's just lost, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry? Do you not need a secret task to liven him up so we can see what maybe. he's made Maybe. We've of. still got five weeks left. Yeah. 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 So there's yeah. still time. You know, I don't see him going anywhere no. anytime soon because, again, I don't think enough people will nominate Nominating him to get him, him up there unless at some point all of them are up for some reason. Um, Gina and Dexter, Nicola, they, have they turned things around enough? They're certainly doing a good job so far. I, I, they're brilliant, aren't they? They've been fantastic. The only problem they'll have is the housemates will nominate them, I think, so then the public will be able to. But I think the public like them now. I think they're brilliant. Gina's my winner. I love yes, her. Mate, I don't think they're that lovely. They've been saved twice already. However, if there comes a week when they're up against each other, yeah. and it's just the two of them, then what obviously of... that's when there's going to be trouble. What about Jackie Travers? She is the mother of the house. She looks after everybody. She dances all the time. Can she do the foxtrot to the finish line? <laughs> no. No? No, no, no. no, she'll go. She'll go in about three weeks' time, I would assume. She's not going to make it to the <laughs> end. <laughs> Well, next, next week we know. Specific. Well, we know this week is going to be either um, 
Wolfie or Hazel. 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 So it's no. going to be them, one of them two. The following yeah. week, if they vote them, it's going to be Hazel or Wolfie. Right. So, you're so you think about the next two weeks are, are She's going to be out. quite safe. Does anyone yeah. think Jackie can win? No. 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 Not no. one person? No. Hold on, Daniel. Let me ask someone that. Well, she's it. injured her arm, so she can't do anything now. She can't participate in the tasks. Mm, she might be able to. She could do, she could do a one-handed dance. Why not? I, I'm not even going to say things like that to you because I never know what's going to come out of that. Um, David, Callum has been this, you know, Mr. Nice Guy. Has that approach been rumbled too early, though, do you think? Are, are people going to... Can, can he survive all the way? I think he can. Because, obviously, he's not be. I think he's really, like... You know, like if you got in an argument with him on the outside, it would be different to his on the inside. I think he's holding back a lot than he would normally be self. But if you remember when he started, like, getting with Charlie... And then he was probably hoping that that would help him along the way. Right. By getting with somebody. And then obviously his video got rumbled. So I can imagine seeing you this person and then Big Brother saying, well, no, you're not that person. We'll show him what you are. Yeah. And it's, it's going to be difficult for him to come back on that, I think. Or what you're not. Well, well, this uh, is the hard thing with Callum, isn't well, it? What, as, who as is Beeson, he? What as Beeson is he? in my series, get off the pot or shit or whatever she said. Do you know, do something or don't do it, basically. <laughs> he's, he's born. Do something though. or jog on. I could evict about four people out of there today, I could. Uh, and Nicola, what about Detective Dan? He's been, he's had the interrogations. Is this kind of the undoing of him? Can he make it all the way to the final? I love Dan, I really do. He's one of my favourites as well. And I think the interrogation's great. I mean, I love asking questions about people. You've got to remember, it is a social experiment yeah. at the end of the day. And when I was in there, I asked loads of questions. I know people thought, oh, I my know. God, she doesn't stop. <laughs> but I wanted to find out about people. Mm. People's lives are interesting. So ask questions. And I, I don't think it's a problem. I think... For us, as viewers, we watch it and we go, go on, Dan, ask that question. And because he, he's asking questions that we want to know we the answers know, to. Exactly he's snooping inside for us. But he's not an actor and he's not a mole before everybody starts going. Oh. He's just clever. He's um, really clever and he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. OK, at this stage, who do you think is looking like the most clear winner? Gina. Jack and Joe. Jack and Joe are brilliant, yeah. Gina. 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 Dexter. Anyone else? Dexter. 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 Sophie or Dexter. Sophie or Dexter. OK, what, down the panel. Francine, who do you think? I actually think Dan could win it. Dan? As well as Sophie. It's Gina for me. It's Gina? Me. Yeah. I think Sophie will win, but I want yeah. Gina to yeah. win. Yeah. OK. Uh, right. Can you quite believe this? It's time for another exclusive. Here you go. Who's pressuring you the most? Well, you know... Well, look. Well, no, just Hazel and Dan were asking me. Do you not want to know? Well, if... if Hazel's the last person that should be asking you. <laughs> exactly, she's the last person. Yeah, honestly, she... You have to wonder why she's so obsessed with it. No, she's obsessed with it because she knows if we say it, then we look like the bad guys, and then she can play the damsel in distress. Oh, gosh. Gosh, I guess she is evil inside, then. Ow. Just fed off all the interrogation. We knew it would happen. Literally, just fucking leave us alone about noms. Just laugh. You have to laugh. And be like, oh, no. And Wolfie was like, yeah, don't, please don't tell mine. So I was like, I'm not going to. <laughs> Apparently she already knows. Oh, what, because the fly told her? Dexter looks like he's on his way to school, doesn't he? In his little tie and his glasses. Little and cute. Uh, can we just reference this? Rylan, Ricky, Luke, MIA, where are you? Hmm, call us, let's know. Uh, right, we're in the phone room. This is where uh, I'm phone alone, apart from some of you lucky people out there who are going to keep me company. <laughs> lucky you. Uh, right, who have we got on line one? We've got Julie from Essex. Julie from Essex, are you there? Hiya, yes, Emma, I'm here. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You OK? Yes, very good, thank you. What would you like to talk about? I'd like to talk about Jackie Travis, but before I say that, can I just say, in all episodes... Every series of Big Brother, the first time ever I cried was last night at that interview. It was you did. so sad, wasn't it? It was really sad. First time ever for me to actually cry at Big Brother. She was such a lovely girl. She was, she was. But I'm here to talk about Jackie Travers. Yes, Jackie Travers. Yes, I, I just feel like everybody seems to think she's so wonderful, but she's actually quite a conniving person. And I feel like Charlie is so astute. But her mother keeps putting her down and pushing her back. Why do you think um, she's conniving? She's, it's just she seems to be trying to pick on people. Well, I don't like using that word. Um, say like Cal um, Callum, what she's doing is she watched the VT of him and has pounced on it and just won't let it go, won't let it go. Yet she saw other ones. Hazel's was pretty bad, which Gina picked up on. 
But Jackie seems to still hang around and love Hazel and be all very nice and icy. It just seems like she's sort of picking. Do you think maybe she things. picked up on the Callum thing because she knew that he had a thing for her daughter and it was more of a protective element? Possibly, but if even so, I mean, I think be fair about it. Also, talk to the other people and say, look, yeah. this also happened here and this happened here. Not just concentrate on one person in particular, which she's done with him. I feel so sorry for him, you know, I really, really do. Yes, he's, quite, he's a bit dull, but <laughs> it, it's made me like him and sort of really want to root for him, the way she sort of going on at him all the time. Good. You know? Well, I'm sure he'll be very happy that he's got some people rooting for him out there. Good for Callum. Julie, thank you very much for calling. Thank you, Emma. Bye. Who have we got next? Sign We've two. got Michael from Guildford. Michael from Guildford. Are you there? Hello, Emma. Hello, Michael. You're right. I'm a little bit disappointed, actually. Why? Basically, this series has been going so far so well. You know, we've got a beautiful new presenter. Yeah, we've thanks. got we've had fantastic twists. And yeah. then suddenly, yesterday, Gina and Dexter made the worst tactical decision ever made on Big Brother history. Why? If they had any sense, they would have realised that they've been getting nominated every week for eviction. Yeah. So it's guaranteed themselves an extra week after this safe house. Yeah. Who were you the best person to go up against? Wolfie. They should have saved Wolfie. That would have been the clever decision. Uh, mm, Michael, you're very clever. Because and they obviously they... heard the booze that Wolfie got, so they know that maybe she's exactly. not liked on the outside. And then, in addition to that, they nominated Jack and Joe. They ain't going to go. We can get Hazel out, the little troublemaker she is. <laughs> Hold on, what about Jack and Joe? You nominate Jack and Joe instead. That's the replacement, rather than Jackie Travers, who is the best thing ever to walk on this planet. I thought you, <laughs> uh, I thought you said to save Wolfie. Yeah, save Wolfie. Save Wolfie and put the twins up. Yes. Right, OK, I'm with you. Sorry. Yes. It's late. Jackie, I wouldn't nominate Jackie Travers because Jackie Travers is the best thing to walk the planet ever. So you're a Jackie I, Travers fan? Absolutely, Jackie Travers to win. OK, good. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you very much, Emma. Love you. Love you, bye. Bye. That's all we've got time for. Soz, you didn't get a look in. <laughs> uh, right, that's all we've got time for. As I said, thank you to everybody that called in. Um, I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back to Big Brother's Bet on the Side. I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you it was going to be a good show. What did I tell you? Yeah! Yeah, here's today's news. At 2.21 this afternoon, Dan once again put his detective hat on and began overthinking things. There's just something not right about Dexter and Gina, just about it. Just, I, probably it could just be as it, as it seems, but I just feel there's more. I still don't think they're housemates. There's something not right. <laughs> You'll get to the bottom of it. They haven't got all their clothes. Why have they not got all their clothes? And why would they be told that they stay in there for the duration of their stay in the house when, until they're evicted? I don't believe that either. I don't believe they'd keep this set like this for the next seven weeks or whatever is left, six weeks. What, like separate in a house? Yeah, they reckon they can, Gina reckons she was told yesterday that she'd be living in that house until she gets evicted. That, don't, that could potentially be the final, so she's going to be in there for six weeks. I don't, don't seem right. I'm pretty sure the only way he's ever going to end his suspicions is if he's left in that house all on his own, and even then, he might even start suspecting himself. Yeah. Quite possibly. Um, at 3.04 this afternoon, Wolfie sat down with Sam and explained to him, in quite clear terms, what was going on. A lot of people, you know, you can, you can write... They can all be summed up in the blurb, you know? But for me, I'm like an onion, you know? I have this layer... I have this front I have to maintain because if I don't maintain it, I'll crack. And then that layer will fall off and another layer comes out. We all wear masks. You know, like the fox, for example, he wears a mask when he's hunting. He wears a mask when he goes home to his pups at night. And it's exactly the same with animals. They have to maintain a mask. We all have masks. We all wear masks. Even if you don't intentionally think you are wearing a mask, you are. Do you know what I mean? I understand that, yeah. So is she a book? Or an onion that cracks? A fox? I'm glad Sam knew what was going on, because I didn't have a scooby-doo. Uh, at 10.33 this morning, Big Brother set out this week's shopping task. The Safe House 3 were installed as the Big Brother Treasury and will have to face some tough decisions over the next two days to raise some money.
Sorry. For this week's shopping task, Big Brother has appointed Gina, Dexter and Charlie as members of Big Brother's Treasury. These are very tough economic times and the Big Brother house is not immune from them. Times are tough. Let's pull together. As members of Big Brother's Treasury, our job is to take the tough decisions that will directly affect you over the next two days. Which leads us into our first decision. Take away all the housemates' beds for the remainder of the task or take away all housemates' clothes for the remainder of the task. Treasury decision. Remember, times are tough. Let's pull together. This is Big Brother. Will the Treasury make their final decision? Take away all housemates' clothes for the, remind, for the remainder of the task. Remember, guys, times are tough. Let's pull together. Oh, shut up. That was such a yeah, shut up. <laughs> That is absolutely right, Dexter. We are all in this together, except for you, in your safe house with your private bath and your outdoor plunge pool. Mm. Uh, the task continued at 1.45 this afternoon, and the Treasury made a tough decision about which housemate would spend the next two days without makeup. And a big decision was made that angered Wolfie. Hazel cannot wear makeup for the remainder of the task. Okay. Just I thought it was going to be like. Just to twice. clarify, that's okay. no makeup. Cool. Oh, well, I think that's clear enough. <laughs> More tough decisions have to be made in order to keep raising revenue. It is as follows. Take away cigarettes for the remainder of the task. If any housemate decides not to follow the treasury decisions or fail to carry out their task to the best of their ability, the full taxes will not be raised. It was really, really tough. I'm not going to lie to you, Gina. The yeah. percentage of the fucking shopping budget, if I want a fag later on tonight, I'm going to fucking have one. No, I don't you care. can't. I don't can't. fucking care. Well, why do you I can't. care what people think of me? Yeah, people but we'll everybody already has a reason to bitch about me anyway, so... If I want one later, I'll fucking have a big brother for my fucking tobacco back. I don't give two shits what people think about me. Oh. <laughs> So to find out how that all went down, don't miss tomorrow night's main show at 10pm on Channel 5. That is all of today's news. Hello. Uh, so that's the news that's happening right now. Uh, uh, that's what the news that's happening earlier, but what's happening right now? Uh, Francine, can you hear me? I can hear you. Emma, I'm so excited. I've never been in the gallery before, so this is, like, amazing. So what's going on? What have you seen? What have you got for us? Right, OK. Jack tells Joe that he's going to confront all the other housemates and tell them to fuck off if he thinks he's washing up anymore, as he's done it three times in a row. <gasps> Oh. Hazel says to Joe about Dexter and Gina that the people they were happy to leave are back and says it's like having a dog keep shitting on your doorstep. Oh. I think that's interesting. Dexter tells Joe that he thinks Jack is his evil twin as he's generally more bitchy and blunt in his opinions. So I don't think he's going to like that. No, he's not. <laughs> Jackie is giving live advice to Dexter in the garden. She says he needs to learn to treat women better and Dexter doesn't like this opinion but appreciates constructive criticism. Oh, that's good of him. Uh, Dexter is offered a wine testing session at the cost of shopping budget for the house and he accepts and goes into the dye room to try various of wines. Now that is going to be very funny. That's oh, gonna that's cool. going to be brilliant. Yeah. Um, Francine, thank you very much. Thank Turn you. around and have a little nose at the monitors. I'm going to. See you in a bit. Oh, thank there you. There we go. Uh, Charlotte, what have you got for us? Give us more gossip, online well, gossip. Well, we've got that clip of uh, Dexter with oh, the wine. Okay. It's very funny. Okay, so, good. So that's that, on the website? Yeah, all the tasks that we've seen grabbing updates on the task. It's okay. really good. Really, good. Really good. good, uh, good. We've also got a really good clip on there called Ryland's Ridiculous Replay. Yeah. Uh, it's Ryland talking through the clips that didn't make it to the highlight show. So really exclusive clips. Okay. So they should do so that. that's on there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also a lot of support for, from Katie's uh, interview yesterday. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of support on Facebook and Twitter, I think. There were so many messages on Twitter for her last yeah. night in support of her. We've got that clip online as well, so if people missed that. But, um, yeah, a lot of people are sort of not very happy with Daily right now, which um, is what you can expect. Actually, I've got some uh, Facebook messages. Um, Helen Walker said, very heartfelt interview. All power to her for having strength to have her say. 
So. Yep. Uh, Nico also says, my heart felt for her. Just wanted to give her a big hug. She's beautiful and genuine. And girls like her deserve better. Okay, anything else? Yeah. Um, Russ, uh, Jessica Becker says, Hazel needs to be back off. Agree with Gina. She needs to respect the girl code. Okay, so. thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, that is all we have time for today. Thanks to all of my guests and a wonderful audience. Uh, tomorrow joining me is the one and only John McCurick, Will Best and Chantelle Horton is going to be here. Have a lovely night.